Welcome folks, Technivers here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. And welcome back, folks. Today we are talking about the line width property in the quality settings of Kira Slicer. So this is something I get questions about a lot. And you'll see here that in my properties, I have the line width set to a simple 0.4. Now that is the diameter of my nozzle and it works well for me and with this profile setup. A lot of times in a lot of places you'll see that people recommend using up to 150% of that line width. So uh, 0.6 because of a property called die swell. So when you're extruding from a hot metallic nozzle, the plastic is immediately going to swell to a size larger than the extrusion hole as soon as it leaves the extruder. So basically, you're not going to be able to put down a 0.4 millimeter line from a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. That said, I leave this property alone, it works just fine. However, when it comes to the initial layer line width, which is the next property we're also going to cover in this same video, basically, you can go down here and set this to 150% and then slice again and you will get a wider initial line that is your first layer and that will give you slightly better adhesion without giving you over extrusion throughout the rest of your models so feel free to play around with this number it does not work very well at all if you put it below the diameter of your nozzle but anywhere between the actual diameter and 150 percent of that diameter should give you nice prints the problem with setting this to say 0.5 or 0.6 is the wider the layer lines, the bigger the discrepancy between your layer line width and your nozzle diameter, the more of a problem you'll have doing higher layer heights like this. So I could do 0.6 at a 0.16 millimeter layer height and not have any issues because it's compressing that plastic. But if I were to do that at 0.2 or higher like this, I might develop some issues of over extruding. So you wanna keep an eye on that as well. And basically just, just keep this the same as your nozzle diameter for now and play around with the differences in this first layer because the only real advantage of increasing that is adhesion. And it does, if you're putting it down accurately, calculate that into the dimensions of the model, you can adjust your dimensional accuracy using this slightly, but as I said, usually if you go to a larger size than the nozzle diameter, it will lead to over extrusion uh, at some point with the higher layer heights. So, Well guys, that about wraps it up. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you can get notified about future videos. And on a side note, make sure you check out our new webpage. The website is technivore.club. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-E dot C-L-U-B. And on that site, you can find all sorts of stuff relating to the channel here, as well as some awesome affiliate links for you to purchase printers and printer supplies, which helps the channel grow quite a bit. So definitely check that out. We appreciate you stopping by.